Welcome to Desi Aroma again. Thank you for joining me again for another video. Today I'm going to do some street food from uh, Delhi. Uh, you know, chicken chow mein or vegetable chow mein is sold everywhere on the streets. I'm doing chicken chow mein today. So please join me and let's see how it comes out. Okay, this is the total ingredients now we have. Uh, carrots uh, thinly sliced, cabbage thinly uh, sliced, large onion, uh, green chilies, two, three, sli uh, sliced at a s angle. I've got garlic and green onion sauce. Any of the Chinese stores should have that. This is chili, garlic sauce. I've got rice vinegar. I've got cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine. Some again sesame seed oil and soy sauce and oil. This is all we need. So let's get started. Now my water is boiling. I'm going to season my water with a little bit salt. So what you do is just add a little salt just to season it. Now I'm going to use this packet of spaghetti. Uh, this is a three pound spaghetti packet for $1.99 but I only need a pound out of that so I'm just going to use some of it and just add it straight to the water so let's do this much and that should be enough for the whole family well let's do about pound and a half so I'm taking uh, one and a half times of this this packet and just add it to it and we'll let it boil. Just shut it down a little bit and let it boil. Noodles are done. Make sure they're not overdone. Take them out. Put them straight in a pan like that. You don't have to totally drain it because you need some of that moisture. And see, it's not overcooked. So al dente is what you're looking at. So once the noodle is all drained out, as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add some oil to it. Now this is important that you know it's about a tablespoon maybe two tablespoon of oil just enough to lightly coat your noodles and just mix it up. What you're doing is making sure that when you're cooking your noodles they're not going to stick uh, with each other and as you can see I've got so much noodle just with that half packet if you have a big family like me or you want to invite the whole neighborhood, this is what you need to do. Okay, I've got the chicken breast right here. This needs to be cut real thin. So, and you need to see where the grain is go against the grain. So take your knife and start slicing it real thin. Because you want it thin so it cooks fast. And so this is what I'm looking at, thin pieces like that. See that? Thin pieces like that. Chicken is thinly sliced. Now what we are going to do is season it up and at the same time get rid of all the chicken smell out of that. So I am putting about 4-5 teaspoons of salt. Lot of salt but this will be all washed. And then vinegar. I'm putting vinegar and I'm going to just mix all this up and leave it for about 15-20 minutes and then go and wash it out nicely. Little bit of that chicken and vinegar will stay with the chicken to give it a nice flavor and rest all be washed away and of course we'll get rid of all the bad smell from the chicken and nicely clean up the chicken. Okay, the chicken has been washed. Now I washed that most probably 8-10 times and made sure that all the salt and vinegar has been removed. So um, this as you can see is, is partially cooked too because the vinegar, the acid in the vinegar will cook that. Now I'm going to just add some soy sauce to it. So a little bit of soy sauce. Okay, no salt because we already have enough salt. And I'm going to take one big teaspoon of white pepper which I'm adding and I'm putting a teaspoon of uh, Ajinimoto MSG of course in the US it's a big no-no we don't eat here but you know it gives a nice taste to it 
and if you eat sometime it won't harm you and this is a sesame seed oil til ka tel so just add that to it little bit I would say about a teaspoon or so and just mix it and now this is going to be kept for another five minutes or so and it's ready to go in the wok okay my wok is hot and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of oil in it so you don't need too much oil and make sure it's, you just mix that oil all over the place now normally I would put a little garlic in there but I don't have the garlic today so I'm going to skip it so it's nice and hot and make sure that it starts smoking so you know it is real nice and hot okay I'm going to cover this chicken for about uh, you know minute minute and a half I want to make sure the chicken is fully cooked in there okay, after a minute um, and a half of covering that uh, you know I am sure my chicken is fully done you have to make sure that is done in goes my onion and my green chili I'm going to mix that a quick mix to it in goes my carrot first I want to do my carrot first because these will cook faster I'm going to mix my carrot now. This is gone. I'm going to put about, I think this is too much cabbage which I have. So I'm going to reduce my cabbage a little bit. I'm going to see if I need more and then I'll put it according to. So my cabbage goes in there. In goes my noodles. As you can see the noodles are not sticking because of the oil we used in the hot noodles. So in goes my noodles. So all my noodles are in and once I've got my noodles in I'm going to start adding my sauce. So take that, you know you need a little bit of that, I would say about a tablespoon and I'm going to put a about a tablespoon and this is two tablespoons so I'm going to put two tablespoons of that a dab of the rice vinegar to give it a nice tangy taste little bit of cooking rice wine there we go you know, sprinkle of that on it again as you can see there's no big hurry on this a little bit of sesame seed oil And at the end, I'm going to add some soy sauce to it. This will not need any salt because, you know, the chicken was salty. All these spices are salty. Uh, all these uh, sauces we are putting are, so are salty. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice mix. But, you know, because we like hot food. So why not throw in some cayenne pepper too? Lal mirch. You know, we are Indians, so we like our food hot. Why not? Okay, all is mixed, and that's all there is to it. You know, just give it uh, another uh, about half a minute, stir it up again, another half a minute, stir it up, and then it's ready to be served. Okay, and we're going to just go ahead and start putting it back. In the dish we had our noodles and this is where we're going to serve it in. You know, if you see anything, just you can go ahead and mix it like that while putting it in. Okay folks, so this is the final product. Take a look at this. You know, it looks good. It tastes amazing. And again, I want to thank you all for coming back. And please, please put your subscription to my channel. This way, you know, I know you all are liking my videos so I can do more videos and please put some comments in there, the, the videos you want to see and I'll do that too. Uh, thank you again.